43. I know it starts at 42. You all started at 42. Well, let's go ahead on and start at 42 then. And reading from the today's English version of the scriptures. And then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of yes. your womb. All right. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? This is Elizabeth talking. Uh -huh. For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Uh -huh. And here's our topic. For blessed, verse 45, is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 Now, if you'll just bear with me and pray with me, we, we can get through this a little bit. So, here in this text, we, we see the account here of a, a beautiful woman, Mary, a very young woman, who had had things very incredible in nature uh-huh uh-huh and in reasoning you know it just didn't seem reasonable to come to a virgin and say you're pregnant right. <laughs> right. 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 you know how how can this be i've never been with a man how, how can this be you know this didn't seem reasonable you know this was incredible to to, to seem to defy nature sure. uh -huh. you know and, and but in spite uh -huh of the incredibleness in spite of what this, what seemed impossible, she still believed. She believed without proof. She believed without objecting. She believed even without requiring a sign. Unlike Zacharias, who was a man. Hallelujah. And not only that, but number one, he was a man up in years, so he should have known. He should have known some things. So he should have had some wisdom at least. Yes. And, and, and then number two, he, he was a priest. He was a priest by office. And, and, and so he knew the scriptures. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, he, he knew of Sarah. He knew the, the, and the miracle of Sarah having a baby up in, in her years. Mm -hmm. he, he knew about that account. He, he, he knew about Samuel's mother, Hannah. He, he was told she couldn't have a baby. He, he knew these things. Right. But yet, <laughs> yeah. he required a sign. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> he did that just like a man. <laughs> but baby, you know, we gotta wait a little while. I gotta see if this thing is ready for real. <laughs> well, well, Cliff, forgive me. <laughs> he knew the scriptures and he knew how God had given miracles, and, and but yet he required a sign. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 which just goes to show you, though. Every man, no matter what his or her office, yeah. every man, every woman falls short yes. sometimes. Yes. 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 Did I clean it up, men? Did, did, did I clean it up for you? <laughs> we all, male and female, yeah. fall short yeah. of the glory yeah. of God sometimes. Yeah. Right. However, yeah. we must be careful sometimes what we asked for. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Zacharias required a sign. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And God get, did just that. Sure. He gave him exactly what he asked for. He gave him a sign. He said, and this is going to be your sign. Now, 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 don't get me wrong. God has given signs throughout Bible scripture. Yeah. In the Old Testament, in Isaiah 7 and 11, God told Ahab, Ahaz is Uzziah's grandson, uh -huh. Uzziah the king, his yeah. grandson. He told him, he said, ask thee a sign. He wants to give us a sign. He even says, now I will give you signs and wonders. Uh -huh. so, so there's nothing wrong with asking for a sign. There's nothing wrong with asking for a sign. And, 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 and he told him, ask a sign. Ask it either in the depth. Below or in the height above. Uh, don't, don't matter. I, I'll give it to you. Uh -huh. the, the Lord says if you need proof, yeah. I'll give you proof. Uh 
So, so there's nothing wrong with, with asking for a sign, just like there's nothing wrong. A lot of people would think there's something wrong. Well, you're not supposed to question God. Well, how else are you going to know the answer? Yeah. Right. If, if you know that. Come on, people. Yeah. There, there's just some things that, that, that just goes on logic. You know, we don't have to be so spiritual all the time. Some things are just logical. You know, if you want to know the answer to some ass. But here in this text, an angel appeared before Zacharias and told him his sign, what his sign would be. He said, behold, this is going to be your sign. You're going to be silent and unable to speak. <laughs> and deaf and unable to hear until the day these things take place because you, unlike Mary, unlike Elizabeth, Unlike the women, <laughs> would not step out on faith and believe it. But because Mary believed, blessed is she. Blessed is he. Blessed is she or anyone that believes. Even the more without a sign. Yeah. Well, stepping out on faith means believing in something you have not seen yet. I believe it's going to happen. That's I believe some things for 2016 is going to happen for God's church. I believe some things in 2016 is going to happen for God's people. I've seen some things already happening for God's people. God has brought me back to a sister-in-law I hadn't seen in 40 some odd years. A brother-in-law, a nephew. God has brought me back. A good friend. God has brought us all back together. I've seen some miracles. My eyes have seen some of the glory. Of the coming of the Lord. Blessed even more is she or he that believes even without a sign. So even as Elizabeth receives Mary's news that she is with child, uh -huh. she too, like her cousin, is exemplary in her response. Uh -huh. Elizabeth even is amazed at her condition <laughs> because she's up in age. Uh -huh. And she's amazed. And her attitude is summarized in the question, why am I? So faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't that a question? Yeah. Okay. And I do believe she was asking it to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, why am I so faith? Uh, right. yeah. Here, Elizabeth displayed humble amazement. Yeah. Humble amazement. She didn't go to God all, all cocky and all, well, well, why me? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you want? What you want with me? Yeah. I'm sixty some years old. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know how we do sometimes. I'm guilty too, brother Vincent. I'm guilty too. I, sometimes I be pointing my finger just like Job. Why you thinking Job wasn't angry? Job was upset. God, why you? I'm a good man. Why you did this to me? He was mad. Oh, he was some kind of mad sitting in the mansions. I had to tell you. But why am I so favored? Why am I so favored? But in her display, in her displayment of humble amazement at being a participant directly in God's plan, that was the amazement. Chosen, Hallelujah. chosen by God yeah. to be a part of yeah. his plan. That should make anyone jump for joy. Yeah. No wonder the baby in Elizabeth's womb jumped for joy. Yeah. We part of a plan here, yeah. mama. Yeah. Come on, that's it. Right. I can even feel it. I felt him coming up the road. Yeah. We part of a plan. Yeah. Hallelujah here. Being able and being chosen by God, yeah. of God, for God, to be used in his plan. Yeah, yeah. Huh, that ought to keep you woke at night just yeah. shouting for joy. Yeah. And then you still have energy the next morning. Yeah. You had God's joy all night. That's it. I'm a part of God's plan. I can't even sleep. I'm so 
excited. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, really God. Mm -hmm. Everyone who has a role in God's plan should share that same yes. amazement. Yes. That yes. same yes. amazement. Yes. Hallelujah. Something in you. If it ain't a baby, it ought to be your intestines, your son, your liver, your kidney, your son. I ought to leap for joy. I promise you, if it leaps for joy, it'll be healed. Oh, yeah. You got kidney stones, leap for joy. All right. You're spelling stones the next morning. I'm telling you. You got gas, leap for joy. Come on. I knew y'all said this woman's crazy. <laughs> But come on, people. Yeah. It's just the truth anyhow. Yes, we got to start leaping for joy yes, when God's truth yes, goes forth in us. Yes, we hold on to a lot of things that affect yes. us come physically on, because we're holding on to disbelief. Yes. We can't believe that God will heal us if we leap for joy. We won't believe that he'll remove it far from us if we just leap for come joy. On, if we just believe, bless or anyone that Hello. just believe. Believe. Yes. believe. Just believe. People, God wants you to believe in him yes. today. He's, yes. he's awakening you too many mornings. Yes. For what seems like no reason. Uh -huh. Until you wake up and then you look around and you see the reason. Yes. And you go through the day and he shows you the reason. Yeah. And even as the sun goes down, he still shows yeah. you the reason why he woke you up early that morning. All right. And something in y'all to still leap for uh -huh. joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Ooh, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Elizabeth also reveals a second exemplary uh -huh. attribute. One that also is found in Mary. Because while reporting the leaping of John in her womb, she expresses a blessing upon Mary. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. See, while her joy was being revealed, she chose to share it with somebody else. Hallelujah. That's another thing. We 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 be people in the church, and you know, in some church, I know that don't happen here. Now, I can tell by the time I spent with some of y'all in a hotel room. <laughs> Uh-huh. That it just don't happen here, baby. Y'all fed me to death up in that room. <laughs> but he don't have some of this. <laughs> baby, I'm full. No, you ain't full enough. Have some of this. <laughs> There's some shared folks here. I'm telling you, this thing. <laughs> Pastor some Morris and Tom Well here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but she shared her blessing. Yeah. Elizabeth said, Blessed is she who believed. Right. She didn't see, she didn't keep her blessing to herself. She didn't say, Thank God for me, believing. Uh -huh. She shared it with Mary. Yeah. And here is the essence of response to God to trust his word, yeah. to be true, uh -huh. and to live in the light of that belief. Yes. Not just believe. It's not enough to just believe. The Bible tells us faith, which is believe, uh -huh. without works, uh -huh. is dead. Uh -huh. You might well not have faith. Come yeah, on. I believe. I believe. There are people walking down the street with no shoes on their feet. There are people walking down the street wanting to know God. Make no mistake about it, people. They might have an alcohol bottle in their hand. They might have a crack pipe in their hand. But they're just waiting on some direction. These people don't have direction. And they're just waiting on some direction. They're waiting on light to come their way. They're waiting on faith to come their way. They're waiting on belief to come their way. They're waiting on something to believe in other than that crack pipe. That crack pipe is not really bringing them joy. That alcohol 40 ounce bottle ain't bringing them joy. It's the same thing over and over and day after day. And they're looking for something yes. different. Yes. They're looking for someone blessed enough to share yes. the light with them. Yes. Share the joy with them. Blessing are yes. they that believe yes. and share the light of that belief yes. with someone.